Bitcoin is a type of digital cryptocurrency first introduced in January 2009. It is decentralized, meaning there is no central authority controlling it. Rather, Bitcoin is peer-to-peer, -peer, or controlled by the people that use it. Bitcoin has no international transaction fees, and many would say no currency regulations either. Cryptocurrencies, or digital currencies, are electronic tokens generated by networks of computers to replace traditional currencies. Bitcoins, like other cryptocurrencies such as Litecoin or Ethereum, have value based on the exchange of conventional currencies and commodities for the tokens through special internet exchanges, such as BitPay. Bitcoin is by far the most popular cryptocurrency and was created by an individual known only by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Nakamoto limited the number of Bitcoins generated by the distributed network of computers in his exchange to 21 million. This limitation in supply ensures demand for the tokens, which subsequently increases its value. All Bitcoin transactions are recorded in a huge distributed ledger called a blockchain. Bitcoin transactions are grouped into a block and added to the public ledger by a process called mining. Bitcoin mining is used as a way to verify legitimate Bitcoin transactions from fraudulent attempts to re-spend Bitcoins. Each block is encrypted using a different mathematical algorithm that requires substantial computing power to solve. Once a block is mined, it must contain a proof of work before it's added to the blockchain. After a block is verified and accepted, the miner that solved or verified the transaction is paid a subsidy of newly created Bitcoin. Thus, the purpose of Bitcoin mining is twofold. First and foremost, to verify and record Bitcoin transactions, and secondly, to introduce new Bitcoins into the system. Although Bitcoin can be used to purchase many legitimate goods and services, it is undoubtedly an easy medium for criminals to engage in illegal activities such as money laundering, the purchasing of illegal goods, or any other transaction that criminals wish to be untraceable. On a similar note, there have been almost a dozen hacks of Bitcoin exchanges since 2010, and losses range in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Programmers and cryptocurrency communities are working hard to identify and mend the vulnerabilities in their blockchain networks. Anyone who invests in Bitcoin should have the proper internet security in place before accessing financial information and making transactions. Don't keep all of your Bitcoins in online banks or stock exchange services. Instead, use an offline Bitcoin wallet service like Electrum or Armory that let you store your Bitcoins in heavily encrypted cases on your own hard drive. Always make sure to use a strong password with these, preferably with an open source password generating software. For the ultimate security, keep this offline wallet on a separate hard drive or a computer that isn't connected to the internet. Only transferring Bitcoins to your internet connected device when you need to complete an online transaction.